Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, just wanted to show you uh, another source to download futures data. But this isn't really all that reliable, as far as I can tell. Uh, if you look at uh, the CME here, uh, it has all the assets you want. You've got all the agriculture, energy, equity, <coughs> currency, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and so on and so forth, metals, interest rates, all like this is pretty well the granddaddy of all the futures data that you want. Now, if you try to download some of this stuff, uh, it's, I don't think it's very valid because it is dated. You can see here. 3:15:16 today is uh, April 13th. This is like I don't know if it's a month old. So essentially, the only format that you can really download that's remotely useful is a fixed format, fixed protocol. So as a result, uh, that in itself is sort of difficult. So I'll download the S&P 500 here. I'll, uh, I'll open it. Let's go to my downloads folder. And, uh, well, I'll uh, show you this one. This is a spider, also, it looks like. Oh. This is unusual. A Unix executable. I'm not going to run that, obviously. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So if I load it up in a text editor, and it's fairly big, you can see that it's not very useful. So the next step, is I'm not even sure what dates we got. We got March 14th, it looks like. Let's see how far back this goes. If it's in ascending or descending order. Okay, so let me just look for another two six, 2016. So again, this is really, unfortunately, not very useful. And I wouldn't be surprised they do this on purpose. So that's again, um, March 15th. Okay, so here's where uh, it's still would be nice to have, obviously, but you gotta probably pay big bucks. Top of book, all the agricultural, all the finances, equity, energy, metal, all that. We also got time and sales for profit and loss, bids and offers, end of day. Um, but look how far back it goes to 2010. The options, these are just really samples, I guess, that they're trying to promote, um, and block trades. So that's one that a lot of people would, would want. So if you request volume only, I'm sure you're gonna be paying some large dollars for that. So what are the alternatives? Okay, so I've looked at one, uh, Quandle, let's say here, uh, it recommends the Stevens Continuous Futures Database. I wouldn't be, I would be surprised, obviously this is going to be historical, um, unlimited access to all data sets, now I don't know how far back it goes with a Quandle API for all the, you know, Excel, R, Python, MATLAB, um, so on and so forth, but it's $100 a month, and that's $100 per month for um, one database. So. The next best alternative, and this is the reason why I like them a lot, is obviously IQ feed comes from this URL what I'm about to show you, is you have what I just showed you, CME. Um, and I do believe that includes real time as well, so it's $91. These, these rates are non-professional versus professional, so they're the same. If you're interested in gold, uh, precious metals, gold, silver, it's got $91. Uh, the NYMEX for uh, oil, heating oil, $36, um, and I believe 
that's included here as well. If I'm not mistaken. I thought I saw it. Okay, um, and then we go into IQ feed itself. Futures and futures options for 20 bucks a month. That's pretty good. Level two, another 20 bucks. So you're looking roughly another 200 bucks on top of the basic fees, which considering, uh, I guess, compared to Quandle and probably what the CME charges, plus you're getting real time, I still think IQ feeds the best deal in town. Now the other question is regarding this guy, um, I forgot to mention is if, if you were to pursue this path from the CME with a fixed data, um, the fixed protocol, there is some documentation on the site somewhere. Just gotta Google it, knowing what uh, um, database you gotta download. I think this MDB is what we're looking for. Um, but obviously you're gonna have to pay some big money for that. So uh, some of the uh, places that I found regarding decoders is here, here, and then I just kind of gave up because why would I blow my brains up for fix when I'm not at that level? Um, but uh, we're, I've already worked with IQ Feed, so I know what they're about, same format. And I'm just turning it on by paying for it each month. So just wanted to highlight that to you. And um, obviously it's an important uh, step because uh, I'm pretty close to finishing up my futures and options set of strategies, uh, understanding and hopefully coding, not yet implementing, but it's getting there. But I thought I'd just mention this uh, as well. Talk to you later.